Time for the first hand of Heat 7. Everyone starts the heat with a million chips, and we start the blinds at 5,000, 10,000 with a 2,000 ante. Hold. I'm going to call. Okay, yes. Great idea, Sarah. Love it, love you. I mean, I love it. She's lip with Ace Deuce. Me and Mrs. Finland right now, heads up. I believe it's Ms. Miss, I'm sorry, Miss Finland. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see a flop. So there's no Mr. Finland, okay. Ten, 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 ten. There's a four on the flop. Ronnie has bottom pair. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ronnie, if you bust her on the first hand. He bets. 30,000. And Sarah raises with a straight draw. Do you have something? Yes, I do. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. 30,000? Yeah. It's the way all my relationships start with lies. And the hand immediately becomes interesting with Miss Finland raising the gut shot and overcard, but she just clicks it back. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange play. I mean, it goes along with her strange limp preflop, although you can kind of assume that's because she's an amateur, that she's just limping weird hands, like ace, deuce, offsuit. Uh, I don't know about Barda's bet here on the flop. I don't think it's terrible, but it certainly opens the door for something like this to happen and inflate the pot with him having bottom pair, no kicker. I think he doesn't mind that so much with the plan being to fold to most raises that aren't min raises, and he's probably going to fold to turn aggression if he doesn't improve, though. Right. He's mostly just hoping for improvement on the turn here. Yeah. So Ronnie has called the raise. And improves to trips on the turn. Oh boy. Why are you checking? <laughs> you raised me on the flop. Um. Uh, num num. She bets just over half the pot. Ronnie, do not bust her before the swimsuit portion. Ronnie's clock is running. Remember, every player has 30 seconds per decision. If he thinks she's bluffing, he'll call. If not, he could raise. The shot oh, yeah, clock. I forgot Did that. Raise. <laughs> raise, 155. 155. She really should not be calling this. 255. She re-raises. What? Just, yeah, just okay. I'm not used to those yet. <laughs> <laughs> really, huh? 255,000. Yes. Ronnie calls, which means we're going to the river, and that means the cage is coming into play. Hey, what was her special talent in the Miss Finland contest? Was it punting poker chips? So shit just went a little bananas here. A little bit. Banana heavy. Little ding dong. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so Barda, we think here, makes a pretty big mistake when he check raises. Yeah. Uh, basically, in our minds, he is under the impression that she has king queen or something like that. So he's going to try to get max value by check raising the turn and then betting the river. Mm -hmm. At the same time as maybe getting some value out of the draws that miss the river at, at this time by check raising. The problem is he didn't really plan for any other contingencies, like her three betting like she does and her value hands become all better than trip fours yes when she does that if, if she's competent which we're still unsure of yeah um certainly trip fours with an eight kicker yes i don't i think she almost never has ace four here because she min raised the flop but again she's an amateur it's at least possible but i agree all of her value hands are now beating him he's now officially into bluff catcher territory Right, and his real concern, though, is her level of competence. Right. Does she have king-queen here and think it's good and think this is the way to play king-queen? Right. Even it, though any standard player who is good would not do that, he might not really know her level, and that might contribute to his call here. Yeah, you'll see um, on the river, he's clearly not sure if she knows that she should be polarized, and that messes up the hand and confuses him even more. So the fact that he didn't have a plan for what to do if we raised messes this whole thing up. And I think that's what makes this check raise a mistake. The board bricks out for Sarah. She has just ace high. Ronnie, she's a little better looking than you. We're kind of rooting for her. Sorry, <laughs> Yeah, <buddy>. I know. <laughs> check. She's bluffed every street so far. All in. 
and she shoves. She slides out the bluff card. <laughs> oh, oh my God! How is this happening? I thought it would be. I wanted to stay and play with you, Miss Finland. I understand. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Ten seconds, Ronnie. Wow, I like that. He's playing a time bank chip. He gets an extra thirty seconds. There's a reason why it's the Finnish reputation, right? I have a four. <laughs> he shows her his hand. Do you have five four or something? Sick, sick bluff, kid. I don't think you can just raise a queen. I don't have a good kick. I can show both cards, right? Absolutely. Slight flutter from Sarah, but what does it mean? Oh, gee. Ronnie must think she has it. He's considering folding this monster. And if he does, he's going in the cage. He's requested more time. I don't know. Do you play, how, often do you, how often do you play this game? Do you know I have a four here? You know I have trips. I don't know if I can fold this hand. I don't know how you play. I've never played with you before. What is going on here? If I fold this hand and, and they see this fold and you have, like, king, queen or something, it's going to be the most embarrassing thing ever for me. You understand this, right? Okay. I, don't, I don't have any time to think over this hand. I'm, like, nervous. I don't know what's going on. It's nice over there. 300, 500. Oh, my God, another 600. Five seconds. And Ronnie's folded. Holy shnikes. It's a bluff. Show. She has ace oh high. Ronnie, you're going to the cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He cannot believe it. I was really scared. Oh, my God. You're really scared. Oh, what? Is this real life? <laughs> that just, no, that just happened to me? I almost had a heart attack. Awesome. Wow, that Thank was fantastic. You, that was you got awesome. some balls, girl. I could have two million chips. Oh my God. <laughs> Good lay down. Oh my God. So this is a massive bluff, obviously. Yeah. And uh, we talked about this a little bit on the podcast. I'm not sure whether or not it was intentional, but she has set up a very good size to shove the river here. Perfect sizing. She has a little more than pot size bet left. It's in a free roll where at the end of the rainbow is a million dollars. It's Ronnie Barta's first shot at real big exposure on TV. It's perfect on so many levels. Right, and Barta tanks for a minute and a half, uses both of his time buttons, but he's never calling. Never. Right, I mean, her value hands, as we said on the turn, all ha have him just completely destroyed. Yeah. She never has king-queen if she knows anything about what she's doing. Yeah. Um, and so she is supposed to be polarized. He's just concerned that she might not know that she's supposed to be polarized. Right. But I think he's right. I think he's always folding. I, I agree with you, but I think he's right to fold ultimately here, even though he's put himself in the spot, and this is the big mistake. If he doesn't check-raise the turn, he check-calls the turn, he can check-raise the river in a spot where bluffs are incentivized check anyway. Check-call the river. Sorry, check, yes, that's right. Whoa. Check-call the river um, in a spot where bluffs are incentivized anyway. It's perfect. And the times he's beat, he loses, you know, a quarter of a million chips instead of all of them. Right. Uh, instead, he's put himself in the spot where he has to fold, and now he's going to beat himself up. He gets to go to the shark cage. And guess what? He now looks kind of dumb on and TV. And it's a huge internet sensation in the poker world. The so. shit went viral, yo! <laughs> Tough one, Ronnie.